How are you finding the market right now? Are you finding it maybe slow? Do you have some vendors whose like expectations are up here and the buyers are down here? And you're probably wondering, how do I close that gap between the vendor and the buyer? Well, look, it is gonna come down to salesmanship. The wonderful thing is when the market tightens up a little bit, people like yourself can actually start to get ahead of your competition. Why? Because if you have some salesmanship skills and have some really good crafty scripts and dialogues, you'll be able to close more deals, which means you get results, you get credibility, and guess what? We've all heard it, you become an attraction agent. People wanna work with people that get results and have a track record. So how can you do it in a market where those vendors are up here and your buyers are down here? Well, here's the thing. With our vendors, we need to have some really good dialogue. And I wanna share with you, because I've had a lot of my clients reach out to me just recently and going, Claudio, I've had this property on the market for 65 days. My vendor's here, he won't move his price. What can I do? Well, let me see if this can help you. Number one, I would say to you is this, the type of dialogue that you wanna be using that can move people into action, because that's what you wanna do, that's your intention, is get them one step closer to being sold because that's what they pay for you, is a result. I would use a dialogue, something along the lines of, Tom, we have to decide tonight and make a decision based on what we know. What we do know is we've been on the market for 65 days now, we've only had 25 groups come through, we've had no contracts issued, and we've had no offers. We can either do two things. We can either lead the market or chase the market. For the last 65 days, Tom, we have been chasing the market. If we can lead the market and price it aggressively, so we can start to open up the dialogue, recreate that buyer excitement, re-energize the listing, we will be able to take the equity out of all the other homes currently on the market, which is your competition, and get you guys sold so you guys can feel really good about moving on to the next chapter of your life. So the dialogue has to be really strong and powerful. No more fluffiness, guys. No, I think we should get a price adjustment. I think we need to do this. Take control. Words do move people. And you need to be really strong and direct when you're talking to your vendor. Now, what about if they said to you, well, we don't want to drop the price between five to 550, Claudia. We think we're going to give the home away. Have you ever heard that? Have you been there and listened to that before? I know I've heard it many times when I was an agent. But here's the thing. What you need to say and respond to that, hear these three words, feel, felt, found. Tom, I understand how you feel. Some of my clients, like you, have felt the same way. But my best clients have found that once we adjusted the price, we started to open up negotiations with some new buyers, we recreated that excitement with the buyers, we re-energized the listing, and eventually got your home sold for a premium result. Feel, felt, found. Remember, get to their level. Understand, understand how you feel. Let them understand that also other clients have felt the same way. But what we found was our best clients got sold for a premium result once we moved it to this level, okay? So start thinking about the dialogue that you're gonna have as you start to get price adjustments. And finally, let me leave you this one. I've got many agents who've got offers on the table and the vendors are just like digging their heels in there like going, nah, we're not moving at all. Here's what you need to do. Paint an analogy for them, paint the picture. Because, you know, we are got a bit of a visual brain. Okay, just say to them, Tom, I have an offer here tonight at $1.55 million. If we're in a casino right now, I want you to imagine that we've got this sitting here in casino chips. We have the opportunity to cash in and take the 1.55 million, or you can take and roll that dice and see if your numbers come up, and if they don't, that 1.55, can go. So Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, the question is, are you willing to take that risk when we've already squeezed that lemon dry with that buyer? You need to be really strong in terms of the language that you use and the words and have conviction and be compelling. You've got to believe in what you say and the offer if it's the best offer for the vendor. And they've got to feel it like it's for their advantage, not yours and not about the commission. Let's get out there with spring just around the corner. Now is the time to level up your skills.